gorillas, orangutans, bonobos, chimpanzees. These are what's known as the great apes and today I'm going to walk you through the only zoo in the UK that is home to all four of them. Located between Birmingham and Leicester, Twycross Zoo has over 80 different animal species. It's also the only zoo in the UK to have a bonobo chimp, which is known as the friendliest ape. Firstly, when you get to Twycross Zoo, you'll go through a big building, which is like the main centre. Um, it has a big soft play area in there, it has the gift shop and a few coffee stands. Then it has a big window across one side, which shows you the snow leopard enclosure. We did manage to get a good view of this. It was sitting in the top corner on the ledge. You can also view it from outside the building, but the window in the corner was completely frosted over, so we only saw it from the inside. Once we left the main building, we went straight on towards the centre of the park. The first thing we saw here was the meerkat pen. As you continue along past the meerkats, you come to the zebra enclosure. Uh, they have a really big outside area here, and we were lucky to see them all out. And you can walk around the, uh, the enclosure and see them from a diff few different angles. In this central bit as well, there's also a few uh, monkey cages but we didn't manage to see much in them and there's the Siaman gibbon enclosure which are the largest species of the gibbons. From the middle area we decided to go south towards the penguins but firstly we went past the ammo leopard enclosure. Uh, these are a critically endangered leopard and there's only around 100 left in the wild so it's good that they're trying to help with the population. After the ammo leopard we came towards the penguins. Uh, these were Humboldt penguins and there's also several ducks in the enclosure. Uh, it was quite a decent sized enclosure and a lot of them were around the pool swimming so that was good to see. We also walked past them later in the day and caught the end of the penguin talk and feeding. Uh, so it was good to see them all jumping around trying to catch all the fish and they went through quite a lot of different things about the individual penguins there. They do a few different talks like this throughout the day but this was the only one that we managed to see. After the penguins we decided to walk along the path which loops around the whole bottom of the park towards the rhinos and the giraffes. Uh, there's a few smaller enclosures along this path which have a, different, a few different animals. One of them had pygmy marmosets, which were good to see. And then as we came towards the end of the path, you come across the outdoor area for the rhinos. Um, neither of the rhinos were out though, because it was quite cold, as you can see from all the frost. So we had to go into the indoor bit to see them. We did get a good view of them, but the bars they were behind were quite thick, so it was quite hard to see them. And they weren't very active. Uh, they were just lying on the floor. Uh, these were Eastern black rhinos, and I think they had two of them there. These are the same rhinos that we saw at Chester Zoo. Uh, they were much more active there and we got quite a good view of them. So if you want to see that, check out the Chester Zoo vlog linked in the description. After the rhinos, we went round to the giraffe house. Again, these weren't outside because it was too cold. So they were both in the house, which gave us a really good view of them. Unlike most four-legged mammals, giraffes swing both legs on the same side at the same time as they walk, which you can see as it's walking through its house. After the giraffes, we went to the chimpanzee Eden. There was two rooms in here for the chimpanzees. The first one had three females in it, which were quite relaxed and not really doing much. But the second one had a lot more in there and had all the males. Uh, in the second room with all the males, the chimps were a lot more active. Uh, they were running around the enclosure and screaming occasionally. This is also where the hairless chimp is, which was quite scary to see. You can really see all the muscle they have, which is why they're so strong, and you probably would not want to fight one. Uh, there was also another hairless chimp sitting on in one of the beds on the wall, which I'm guessing is related to the male one, which was running around a lot more. Uh, the walkthrough bit for the chimpanzees was also quite well themed, with lots of different trees and plants around it. And you also had a view of the big outside area they have, but none of them were outside when we were there. They were all just in the two rooms they have indoors. After seeing the chimps, we decided to go see the bonobos. These are very similar to chimps, but there are several differences. Uh, for example, bonobos are quite a lot smaller. Bonobos also have darker faces when they're young, whereas chimps have a lot lighter faces. And bonobos live in female-led groups, whereas chimps live in male-dominated groups. This is the only zoo in the UK to have bonobo chimps, so it's definitely a good one to see. There was also a few babies there, one of which has just turned one, so it was good to see a whole range of, of different ones there. After we saw the bonobos, we decided to go try to see the gorillas, but these weren't around because they had their morning enrichment sessions. Uh, so we decided to continue up around the top of the park towards the Sumatran tiger. Uh, before that we did go past a few smaller enclosures, uh, there was a few monkey ones, there was the lemur enclosure but we didn't manage to see those and then there was a deer enclosure at the top. Uh, as we came to the end of the path we reached the Samarchan tiger enclosure, it has a big outdoor area but we only caught a brief glimpse of it outside. You then walk through a tunnel which goes through the 
uh, the outdoor bit towards the viewing point to see part of the indoor area and we managed to get a decent view of it through a little doorway. Uh, this is the smallest of the tiger species and it's found on the island of Sumatra in Indonesia. After we saw the tiger we continued along the path um, went past a few other enclosures. We then went south towards the orangutans. When we first got to these we didn't get much of a good view and none of them were outside and we only managed to see one of the females and the younger ones sat up on the ledge. But we did go back there later and the male one did go outside so we got a really good view of this. Uh, the males are quite noticeably different so it's always good to see both the male and the female orangutans. After we saw the orangutans, we decided to continue back through the centre to go see some of the enclosures we missed on the first way around. Uh, there were a few smaller monkey enclosures and we still didn't manage to see much of them out. Uh, we also saw a dick dick enclosure, but they didn't come out either. Uh, there were some smaller pancake tortoises next to some medium sized tortoises. And then close to the centre there's a building that also has the giant tortoise in it as well. Uh, these didn't do much, but were also quite cool to see and were sleeping in some strange positions. After we saw the giant tortoise we went back to see the gorillas which was the final great ape. As we got there they were just coming back into the enclosure from the morning enrichment. Uh, we had quite a good view of these. Uh, there's a big window in the inside bit for viewing them when they're in their house and there's also a long window that goes around the outside of the enclosure. Uh, one of them did go outside so we got quite a good view of it climbing on the frame uh, but all the others did stay inside. They have one silverback gorilla there and quite a few females but I'm not sure exactly how many they had. After the gorillas we made our way over to the Gibbon Forest. We went past a few of the smaller enclosures again and did manage to see some of the monkeys this time. As you come to the Gibbon Forest you'll see all the outdoor areas for the gibbons. It's just lots of um, tall pillars and swing things and stuff like that. Uh, none of them were out though as it, as it was too cold. They were all in the, the rooms in the forest. Uh, the Gibbon Forest is a building that's designed to be as close to uh, the natural environment for the gibbons as it can. You walk in and there's four rooms, one in each corner, uh, to view the different species of gibbon. I believe there were three different species there, but we managed to uh, see all of them. It was really well themed on the inside and you did get a good view of all the different gibbons. The last part of the zoo that we visited was the Gruffalo themed walk in the top left of the park. I didn't get much film of this as it was focused on kids. Uh, there was quite a few different animatronics as you walked around. There were a few different animals here. There was a bird walk through, a goat walk through and a few smaller enclosures. And then after that, we made our way back to the entrance. As we were leaving, the last animal we saw was the snow leopard again, which hadn't moved from its ledge. We also had a quick look in the gift shop and then called it a day. If you've made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching. I hope this gives you a good idea of what's at Twycross, uh, somewhere I definitely recommend visiting. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like, uh, subscribe for more, and uh, bye.